Howdy farmers, how's it growing? I'm Max from LED Tonic and today we're going to talk about grow room glasses, what to keep in mind when working in a bright environment and what to avoid. As most of you know already, bright light can permanently damage our eyes. Extremely bright light, such as staring at the sun or directly into a lamp or grow light, can cause permanent damage even after a very short period of time. While this is common sense to most, it is sometimes forgotten or unknown that even if we're not staring directly into a light source, our eyes can still take damage from being in a very bright environment for extended periods. As we've spent a lot of time close to bright lights, we have a lot of first-hand experience with this. Glasses come in all different types of shapes, colors and shades, and they all perform differently. We found two models that are superior and I'm about to tell you why. Light will appear white to us humans when all colors are emitted in a somewhat equal ratio. This light is 4000K, appears pretty white, possibly a bit blue dominant. This is not a grow light, but it is 1800 Kelvin. It has more red in it and less blue. And as you can see, this light has a redder tone to it. Decreasing the green part of the spectrum, light will appear pink or in worst case purple. This is a rather pink hue. Using a pair of grey tinted glasses will decrease the light intensity but it will still appear pink or purple-ish. However, using a pair of glasses with a green lens will add that green missing part back to the spectrum and light will suddenly appear more close to the natural white light. Not all green glasses are equal. Using a lens that is too green will create a green tinted spectrum. When working in a regular white light, green glasses won't be necessary anymore and instead a pair of grey tinted glasses should be used instead. This will decrease the light intensity while keeping the spectral appearance. These grey tinted glasses are great for all white light sources. They have a great coverage both from above as well as from the sides. They are also designed to be used as over glasses, so if you wear, you're wearing any type of prescription glasses, these can be used right on top. So, when is it recommended to wear glasses? Well, it depends on how bright the environment is and how much time is going to be spent there. Exposing our eyes to intense light once may not have a noticeable effect on us. However, repeatedly exposing us to bright light, depending on the intensity and spectral quality, can have a damaging effect in the long run. As we only have one set of eyes, it's not a bad idea to wear proper eye protection whenever strong light is present. We've shown this in a previous video, but roughly these grey tinted glasses will block between 80 and 90% of the total light in the PAR region, depending on the spectrum. And these green glasses, somewhere between 60 and 70%. After a lot of thorough testing and first-hand experience, we're finally selling these glasses. So if you're interested in a pair, or just want to read more about them, there's links in the description. Alright, that's all for now. Stay safe 
and happy farming.